Hey everyone, Josh requested that I uh, <coughs> make something in Minecraft or show off what I've made in Minecraft. I don't know why he... Huh, I don't know why he wants me to either because he doesn't like Minecraft. He likes shooters rather than creative games. So I guess I'm going to be showing you what I have so far. Or was that actually an update to the game? Well, I mean, like, all games, for some reason, have these useless little updates that don't actually do anything. Yeah, there's nothing there. So... <coughs> I don't know if you can read the thing that was currently highlighted. Uh, it says Hero Burns World. I name it that, because there's some very odd, unnatural occurrences there. Where is... Where is it? Oh, there it is. The reason I called it one seed is because I, in the seed generator thing, I put one. Just a single one. Oh, I'm at one of my mob traps. <coughs> the way it works is... <sighs> Alright. Fuck you. Yeah, I noticed that, uh... You don't actually, like if you have a trap door, you can just leave it open and there you go. You can uh, now jump up two, st uh, two blocks. Anyway, I, can, I have these trap doors set up uh, all over the place. <coughs> I, ha I have them closed during the day, so for one, so I don't fall in them accidentally. And two, so that they don't get clogged up with animals. <coughs> God damn it. But, uh, well, at night I, of course, activate all the traps. I'm thinking of, like, hooking all the traps up to a single room. Like, I'm planning on building a tunnel to all of them, between all of them. And then I'm thinking of having a, uh, what is it? Oh, I'm thinking of having, like, a single lever set to open every single one of the traps. But that's going to take a lot of redstone, and I think I only have three. Yeah, I only have three. Anyway, this is my little treehouse. I only put this here so his mobs can't get in if they climb up here. <coughs> this is kind of a fucking tall tree. Actually, from the top of it, you can actually see my original house. Or at least the little lookout thing I was making for it. So you, all right. Do you see that structure way over there? That is my original house. Actually, you can see my farm. Okay. Uh, this could probably hurt. <coughs> I noticed something. If you crouch just before you make contact with the ground, it uh, reduces damage taken. So, like, if you fall uh, four blocks which I think is the minimal you could fall to take damage. If you fall four blocks but crouch just before you hit the last one, you can take zero damage. Well, it's happened to me before. Okay, it is an update for the game. Oh, shit. So we now have... Wait, do we now have new things to make then? Can you actually make Cactus Green now? No, you cannot. And I still haven't found clay. <coughs> Alright, I don't know what else they added other than this, because normally there aren't those little numbers at the top of the map. Okay, so my original house is over there. Actually, that's my little watchtower that I never finished. And it's night. Fuck. Weird. Pig! Also, sorry if I'm sounding weird in my and, and this because my throat has been hurting since I woke up. Sound creepy. So this was my original house. It took me, I think, two hours to build, maybe. And as you can see, well, as you can see, I have a shroom farm here. I don't know if you can read that, but it's shroom farm. I had it on. Uh, 
I had it on normal. I was just waiting here for my shrooms to grow, which they had exponentially. Let's see if my brown shrooms... Yeah, my brown shrooms are almost gro growing over to the torch. And I don't know how well you can see it, but the way I keep the red shrooms from intersecting with the brown shrooms is I have trap doors on the floor here. So you can walk over it, but the shrooms can't grow. Anyway, <coughs> what happened up there was I was just standing here waiting for day when day did come and all the normal baddies, other than the spiders and creeps, of course, were dead. I came up here, and can you guess what decided to camp right there waiting for me to come up? What else would cause an explosion? Okay. Alright, let's see if I can actually make anything else. Doesn't seem to be anything new. I don't know why I would I'm looking at tools. Oh! Yeah, I should know. I wonder. Nope, they still haven't updated the description for how much armor gives. Yeah, I don't know if anything has actually changed. Um... Hmm. Why do we have lovers? <coughs> right, anyway, that's a waste disposal. Because cacti are safer waste bins than, uh, than lava is. Right there is my little gate to, uh, the nether. I don't like going in there because one time a goss destroyed my portal just as I was going through it and I had no flint and steel. So that fucking sucks. Um, <clears throat> and, oh yeah, pumpkins and glowstone glow brighter than torches. And I never harvested my farm. Anyway, you may see these random little wood structures all over the place. Uh, that is, that, those are entrances to my mine. I have a mine running across basically this entire island. They started over here, I think, and they ended up spreading everywhere. <laughs> Amazingly, there's only a few places in this entire mine, actually I think only one place, that monsters will actually spawn. And of course, the two that did had to be creepers. And of course, the two that did had to fucking destroy my wall that I had to my farm. Yeah, this is one of the only other places I... Oh, actually, I've been here, I think. So I didn't, ah, here it is. Let's see. Yep, there's the stone well. So yeah, this is the only place that creatures usually spawn. And here's my farm. Well, there's a guide on the other side to what things are. <coughs> floor 1 is wheat, floor 2 is cacti, floor uh, 3A is sugarcane, and floor 3B is uh, shrooms. Originally, I was going to have a floor 4 that uh, I had a tree farm, because it would be right under my sugarcane farm, and, well, you need, you need sugarcane for paper, and you need paper for books, and you need books and wood for bookcases, so it would have been perfect. Do I have? I don't need dirt. So, oh yeah. Real fast, I want to show you this. Alright, so the thing that is keeping these plants alive is this little water thing. It is coming in from the ocean. It is flowing under all of these half slabs, which is flowing under here it's going through a little junction thingy here in my cactus farm which is flowing down into my sugarcane farm so everything you see under these stone slabs is all water and this is a fucking big room oh hey you've, they've updated it now so you can go through sugarcane cause yesterday when I played this it was before the update and sugar cane counted as a solid object so like if you did that you'd be able to use it as a platform and oh shit that means things might spawn in there and be able to get in 